Hey everyone, it's Wellens, and welcome to Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC. I'm a little bit late to the party. I had a whole schedule planned out, and I was gonna get to this on release date, but then I caught COVID, and then all my plans just sort of fell apart, so... It took me a little bit of while, but we're here anyway, that's all that matters. I actually haven't looked at any of the marketing material for this, so I don't know what this is about at all. I'm assuming it's kind of like Frozen Wilds, but less frozen, more burning, less wilds and more shores. Why don't we find out together? I believe we start the main game and then it'll tell us how to start the DLC. Thank you for installing Burning Shores. We have new quests that continue the main storyline. And it's set in an entirely new area of the map, featuring new characters, machines, weapons, skills, tools, outfits, collectibles, and more. To start, complete the main quest Singularity. Aloy will then be contacted with the next steps. Okay. New skills are available at any time. Ghost levels will be returned upon reaching the new max level. What's a ghost level? I have no clue. Eloy, a certain complication has come to my attention that we must discuss. I'll be waiting at Tilda's. It's proven to be a useful headquarters for my inquiries into the scene of the base. And if don't worry, you, it can handle I haven't disturbed thing. her precious art. Fine. I'll be there when I can. Lance Reddick, rest in peace. To the burning shores. Okay, let me just walk around for a second, see if I can pick up... I remember, I distinctly remember, when I played Frozen Wilds. Oh my goodness, everything was extremely, extremely hard. Partially because I forgot the control schemes and stuff. But maybe it was just hard too, so I want to make sure <laughs> I'm not going to get my butt kicked here. Although that might be unavoidable anyway. Don't think I've ever been this far into the desert. Wait, okay, so we have a... We have 20 million arrows. I don't know which ones we were using before. I think my main one was... It was this one. Advanced Hunter Arrows. Okay, we've got some ice, fire, acid, and then these discs, and then these... Right, 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 right. Okay, I see. Precision. I'm not sure if I really use these ones ever. Targeting arrows. There's the terror arrows. And then berserk arrows. Never really use them. Okay, we have some repeats. And then we also have the valor surge, toughened, and then these different things. Triple notch. Triple notch. Alright, I gotcha. Okay. I think I... Yeah, I, I remember how to I think hit this stuff. Might be my favorite track yet. <laughs> For once we agree. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, last time we did clear out the entire map pretty much. It doesn't look entirely cleared out because there's still fog in the sea, but I did clear everything. For better or worse. <laughs> Tilda's mansion. Let's go. Oh, should I be looking at the new skills? Do I know which one's a new skill? No, we probably have to um, start the quest first. I didn't look at the thing for Spectre Prime last time. The ultimate far zenith exoframe. It can morph into multiple forms, while gold armor-like plates can become devastating weapons and gravitationally reattach when torn off. Ooh, yeah, this fight wasn't fun. No sorry, it was pretty tough. I didn't get every single data point. Hold up, though. Yeah, these were ones that we got before, but I don't think I came in here to um, take out the exclamation mark. Alright. How the hell does one call a creature again? Oh, oh, hello! Hi! Hi! Okay, thank you. Uh... I, I may need to remember how to ride you. Is it working? <laughs> We're making a very slow... I'm gonna need to figure that out again. Oh my gosh, I barely have health. If we're riding a normal, non-flying creature, I think I'll know how to do it, but... Yeah, and then we have the... what was it? The scanny scan? Mm-hmm. There's silence. Uh, 
Hi. <laughs> How are you? So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch. Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Uh -oh. Your math is impressive as always, but yes, it appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. He looks like a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. You said Walter Landra was a bit of a celebrity. What does that mean? Although he made his money in aerospace, he put vast sums into the production of holographic entertainment. In fact, his wife was a famous actress. The two of them were often featured in tabloids and other media. Tabloids? A type of uh, a news outlet that tracked the personal lives of celebrities, <laughs> allowing legions of fans to live vicariously through the rich and famous. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, well, it's entertaining. <laughs> So Landra made his fortune by selling spaceships? Not exactly. He built ships and drones that could mine near-Earth asteroids for rare metals, generating untold riches. I'm starting to see why you're worried. Indeed. Thanks to us, he no longer has access to the Odyssey or the Zenith base, but he likely has extensive knowledge of potent old world technologies. As such, he represents both a threat and an opportunity. You think he might know about something that can help with Nemesis? It's possible, yes. And we already killed the other two, 12, which means he should be pretty scared of us. You said you've been searching through the Zenith base. Did you find anything that can help against Nemesis? Well, I believe our best option is to unearth powerful technologies from the Zenith, the ancient past, or both. And with such knowledge in hand, we might be able to build a weapon to hurt Nemesis in a way that it can't currently anticipate. A surprise attack? I like it. Don't get your hopes up. I found a few leads, but nothing concrete. It will be a long search, I fear. Well, what are we waiting for? So where do you think Londra went? The coast, far to the south. An area wracked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago, it was called Los Angeles. Oh. A hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Londra's space mining company, Heaven Sent, was headquartered there. Heaven Sent. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So, are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, to the burning shores then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other Zeniths. Oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. Well, good luck to me. I don't even remember how to ride a Sunwing. <laughs> you in the middle of fighting a giant machine or something. <laughs> hey, Veda, I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. Okay, sis. we Will do. Thanks. 
I wonder what they're gonna do about silence for the next game. Hmm. Ooh. This is it. Londra's headquarters shouldn't be far. Lava! Magma, whichever one. Okay, that can't be good. Shit! Ooh! Oh! Oh, there's some kind of like an automated defense system? Ooh, I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> Hotel. Hi! Come on! Come on! Were you actually flying just now? Yeah, just, uh, not my best landing. Damn, more machines. Don't even have time to ask who you are. Stay back. I'll handle this. Hold on. I can help too. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Oh, I'm gonna embarrass myself. <laughs> oh, Andrew God. Who could help here? Uh, whoa, hi, hi. You know what? See those glowing crystals? Takes one hit to detonate. Yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> She's teaching me how to fight. She's talking about the fire gleam. Uh, okay, I got you. What was that called again? I don't have that element. Waters. I don't have that water. Oh, freaking man. Okay, well, we'll, we'll just see what happens. We're just gonna. Oh god, we are not even gonna focus on the weaknesses. Yup. At least I remember how to toughen myself. Which does what? Okay. Not bad, stranger. Oh, she has the what was it? Water purge? Hi! Hi! Ooh! Uh, may have pissed off people. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Why don't you go... Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? I can't with my stamina. I want to go next to the fire gleam so that we can activate it. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is going to take a while to pick up, isn't it? See the cancer? Aim for it! <laughs> I'm trying to, dude! Oh, it's sucking me up! It's sucking me up! The canisters! Yes! I mean, there is a fire gleam, but no one's coming over here. It's kind of the problem. Ooh! Last one! Let's see who takes it! Come on! Well, that was great. <laughs> oh, you know how to hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could uh, say the same about you. You have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first- Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. There's a ruin. On the hill northeast of here, that's where I was headed. The ruin on the hill? You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. The rest of the Quen? Uh, hold on. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? 
Let's just say, I need that tower dealt with too. Come on. Not even the first ones here. Well, we have a tour guide then. This way, follow me. Thank you, thank you. We'll have to take my skiff to get to the settlement. What were you doing out here anyway? The skiff's rudder is a bit off. I was after some parts to fix it. And sometimes, you just need to hunt alone. Are you like alone alone or you were just alone for the hunting part? You have a camp. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Here she is. I just need to attach this component I picked up. Hold tight. Never seen a boat like that before. Me and a gear head back at the settlement roped it together. Works well enough. That'll do it. Skiff's good to go. Hop in. Oh no, not another one. Whoa. Like I said, there's no getting to Starlight Rise so long as that tower's there. It's some kind of anti-air weapon. Okay, casting off. Huh, sure beats rowing. I've had a lot of time to improve her design. How long have your people been here? Uh, about a year, I think. We hit this massive storm crossing the great ocean. Lost half the fleet and our bearings. It was a miracle we even made it to these shores. We've been stuck here ever since. I see. I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just how many of you are left? Not as many as there should be. We've had other troubles since the shipwreck. And some of those remaining aren't much help. Sounds like you're not thrilled to go back. Bringing back an outlander is certainly going to complicate things. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead and let me do the talking. If you say so. They don't know about me. We're in the Quinn all like, Oh, Elizabeth Sobek! That's it on your left. Fleet's end. Uplifting name. We weren't in great spirits when we made landfall. Ha! Oh, but there's a huge settlement here. Pretty big. Okay, here we go. You could at least help row, Aloy. I don't know anything further. May I be dismissed? No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. Traitor. You! Here we go. Sorry. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus, leading a barbarian into our midst. Where's the Quinn I know? Arrest them both. Remove their focuses at once. Arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral. Not a compliance officer. <sighs> By all means. I'm a living ancestor, excuse you. So she stole the focus. Because the Quinn didn't have that many. I remember that. It was like a privilege for them to have one. Seika stole the focus. Who's the barbarian? She's done for. Things seem kind of tense around here. It's not our best day. Admiral Garrett! It's as I told you, sir. The proof is now before your eyes. A soldier dared to don a diviner's focus, the eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us in direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. <laughs> Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. 
Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue. The ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Andra's headquarters. Hmm. Now we have no means of safe passage. Not in our current situation. But she might have another way. Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a diviner. No one else. Seika's actions are indeed concerning. And there will have to be a reckoning. But not now. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Seika has a chance of bringing them back, our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But, sir, if... Oh, they put me in there, too. Thanks. Outlander, I'd like a word when you have a moment. Hmm. They're not happy, but we've been given permission. You okay? I shouldn't have said that. It's just that... My sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator. Our only means of getting home. I've got to find her. Even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I, I understand. Maybe more than you know, but... For now, I think we need to calm down I and just calm. You're right, of course. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky, out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Oh. Oh, great. Well, it seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it. Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. The are uh, she's taking surprisingly well to me, even though I have a focus that's not even like hers. Well, you're a good fighter, that's for sure. But beyond that, I don't know much about you. There's not much to tell. Nothing special about me. Except my sister is pretty well known among my people. Because? You don't seem so ordinary to me. I was just a petty officer until we ran aground. But we lost a lot of midshipmen and lieutenants to the storm and the wreck. And now even more of them are missing. So I've been trying to step up and help the Admiral. It took a lot of guts putting on that focus. Seems to me he needs more like you. Huh. Tell that to Rang and his toadies. They can be all about the rules and all the bureaucratic stuff. What exactly did you find on that Diviner's focus? When the scout boat sent by the Admiral didn't return, he sent our very last one to find out what happened to them. Diviner Vi was on board. They made it as far as Starlight Rise, went inland and found a camp and a bunch of equipment. It looked like some of our people went into a ruin there. Then they spotted a machine, unlike anything we've seen. Silver and gold moved like a spider. Spooked, they ran back to their boat. They were lucky to escape. I've dealt with those things before. Well, their luck ran out fast. The morning they tried to sail back, the tower went up and blew them right out of the water. Vi's body washed ashore here sometime later. A friend of mine found it and let me know. The same friend that ratted me out to Rang for taking the focus. But what was I supposed to do? I would have done the same thing, trust me. 
Looks to me we have a common goal then. This starlight rise that she talks about, I guess she read it off a sign or something? I'm not familiar with LA at all, so I don't know if these are like famous places in LA. And there's uh, those weird... The machines. I forgot their names. The weird futuristic ones. They're here as well. So the Zenith is doing something. Is there anything else you can tell me about that tower? It just appeared one day a couple of weeks ago after our scout boats went missing. And it shoots at anything in the sky or sea. Machines, boats... You. Okay, don't remind me. <laughs> I tried to get near it, but it's mounted on a tall ruin with machines all around. On the plus side, its range is limited. I've been testing it with my skiff and setting up buoys to mark the radius. <laughs> I can't tell if that's smart or reckless. Both, maybe. I'll admit there have been a couple of near misses. It's important information though. We need to know where we can go and where we can't go, so good job. So your sister is a navigator? More like THE navigator. The only Quen who can steer by the stars without instruments. She reads the sky like a scroll. Knows every constellation by position, no matter how much it spins around up there, which means she's been an Imperial favorite ever since her first exam. One of the fleet's most precious assets. And now she's gone. And she and the others just disappeared? After we made landfall, the hard way, the Admiral sent out scouting expeditions with the very few boats we had left. Not one of them returned. I don't know what happened to them all, but I do know it has something to do with that tower. And Starlight Rise. We're agreed on that. Sounds like people should be wanting to find the sister even more than Seika herself, because she's so important. They can't go home without her. Why are they not sending more people for this? You think there's a way to do something about that tower? If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though, show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on. There's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. I can put you in touch with them, but we should find your missing people first, right? They're alive. This is great news. Uh, but yes, you're right, it, it should wait. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. What, really? So for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right then, I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. It's a DLC, so don't do stuff outside the DLC. <laughs> I wonder how Alva's doing. Oh my goodness, this place is huge. Might not be a bad idea to resupply before I meet Seika. Or I could explore a little with her skiff first. We could just look around. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a vague understanding of what the place looks like. But it's huge. I, I think I read somewhere that the map is supposed to be one-third the size of the original map, which is still pretty insane. Yeah, I don't know about all those question marks, but uh, let's focus on just walking around a little bit and getting reacquainted with the controls and whatever again. Walter Landra in the 2060s, multi-billionaire Walter Landra was at the peak of his life and career. He had made a massive fortune as the founder and CEO of Heaven Sent, an asteroid mining corporation. Married to a famous actress, he was firmly established as Hollywood elite, often finding himself at the center of tabloids and the press. Oh, maybe he's coming back here being like, oh, I miss being Hollywood elite because we're in LA. But in 2065, as the Pharaoh Plague consumed the planet, Landra fled along with the rest of the Far Zenith, only to return a thousand years later after escaping a second calamity. 
this time the destruction of their colony on Sirius at the hands of Nemesis, a rogue AI of their own creation. At some point after returning to Earth, he split from his cohort for reasons unknown. Oh, hmm. Because of this, he was not present when Aloy and her companions stopped the rest of the Zeniths at their base. Silence believes Alondra has gone to the ruins of Los Angeles, a wild and deadly region now known as the Burning Shores. While Alondra's motives and his ancient home remain hazy, one thing is clear. A fugitive Zenith cannot be left to his own devices. Got that right? Seika Quen Marine Seika is a tenacious and highly skilled marine of the Quen tribe. When an expedition was formed across the Great Ocean in search of a cure for their ailing lands, Seika was one of many chosen for the voyage, along with her sister, Kina, a highly esteemed navigator. Things went poorly for the expedition not long after they set out. A violent storm split the fleet in two, blowing half of the surviving vessels off course. These ships eventually made it to the burning shores, where Seika, her sister, and their crewmates have been stranded ever since. To make matters worse, Kina and many of the crew have recently disappeared without a trace in the dangerous wilds. Through it all, Seika has gone above and beyond her duties, doing whatever it takes to keep her people alive. But with her sister unaccounted for, she did the unthinkable, using the focus of a dead diviner in the desperate hope it might contain a clue. This breach of tribal law has earned her the scorn and derision of much of her remaining crew. Still, her gamble paid off. The focus recorded evidence of her missing people at a place known as Starlight Rise. Armed with this knowledge, she is determined to reach it by any means necessary, and Aloy might just be the key to seeing it through. Garrett, an admiral here. Leading the most ambitious expedition in the history of the Quen Empire should have been the crowning achievement of Admiral Garrett's already decorated career, but such dreams of glory were torn to pieces by a devastating typhoon, along with the expedition's ships. With the other half of the fleet deemed lost, Garrett and his remaining crew washed up in the untamed wilds of the burning shores, far from their intended destination. A fair but cautious leader, he has maintained order among the survivors while relying on dauntless marines like Seika to ensure their survival. But with many of the crew now missing under mysterious circumstances, and with little hope of escaping their predicament, he has resorted to desperate measures, even going as far as to tolerate Seika breaking tribal law and teaming up with an outsider to search for their lost people. Well, it's a start. Hi. You. A word. So. The Barbarian strolls into camp with Seika. The two of you promised to find our missing people. And given our desperate situation, I have little choice but to agree. That doesn't mean I like trusting our fate to a stranger. Who are you? Where'd you come from? My name is Aloy. As for my life story, does it matter if I can help? <sighs> I suppose it depends on the cost. Compliance has traded sights on Seika. And by letting her gallivant off with a foreigner, I may have given her just enough rope to hang herself. It seems to me she can take care of herself, but I'll do my best to keep her out of trouble. Very well. To that end, is there anything you need to know? Tell me everything you know about everything. You seem to think highly of Seika. She is an exemplary Marine. Persistent, selfless, resourceful. Being stranded is a battle of attrition. Everyone wears down eventually, but not her. Not yet. I've come to rely on her more and more. She's our best hope for finding the missing, I'm sure of that. Well, it's because her sister is among the missing. If she gives up, what's gonna happen to her sister? She can't give up. You said your situation was desperate. How did all this happen? We sailed from across the great ocean. Ours was the tribe's most important mission in a century. It was to be my swan song. Now it will be my epitaph. A typhoon struck us midway, cleaving the fleet in two. I know not what happened to the other half. Scattered, stranded, probably sunk. I don't know, there's always hope. <laughs> After we beached, I sent out scout boats to explore the coast. None returned, and I haven't the craft nor manpower to mount a search. First I lost half my fleet, now I've lost half the survivors, so don't speak to me of hope. And yet, Seika found a clue on that focus. 
You're just like her. <laughs> you don't give up. If we give up, what else do we have? Nothing. We're really not going to tell them about the other half. Okay. Compliance sure seems to have a lot of sway around here. Compliance officers are the eyes and ears of the Imperial House. It is their duty to ensure that the wisdom of our ancestors doesn't fall into the hands of our enemies. And so they ferried out the disloyal and disobedient inspections, interrogations, all in the name of security. All I see is one man causing a lot of unrest in your camp. Being liked is not part of compliance's mandate. Assuming we ever return home, Rang will report on the crew to his superiors. That fact gives him a lot of influence. I can only pray that he uses it for the greater good. It sounds like he exists outside of the chain of command of you? You you're not his boss. I'll do my best to help Seika bring back your people. If they're even still alive. Keep her safe if you can. They might be stranded somewhere because they can't use any vehicles. That tower is really blocking everything, I think. But Seika did say that land... She said sea and air were affected. She did not say land was affected. Heat I could deal with. It's when the wind kicks up the sand. Hi. You're lucky Seika's the Admiral's favorite. Back home, my mother used to make this sausage stew. Uh, I think about it nearly every day. Oh, you don't have it anymore. Well, you'll be going home soon enough, hopefully. We shouldn't be talking during our shift. I can't have my supervisor catch me slacking off. <laughs> okay. Not now. You'll get me in trouble. Stick around if you like. Maybe you'll learn something from the Quinn. <laughs> They're like, oh, barbarian. Her here. I hope Seika followed protocol. Welcome, stranger. I, I'm afraid you found us adrift on choppy seas. If you're here to help, great. But don't disrupt our work. Who's this guy? He's just sitting down. Shh, not now. Just a random sailor? Not now. You'll get me in trouble. You're helping Seika look for our missing, right? Good luck. Yeah, something like that. Let's check out their place. Hi. Not many can do what I do. Dies? Oh. Any new face paints? The one that we have is the Death Seeker. No, I think we can just do what we have right now. I'm totally fine with it. The next when? No, oh god, that gives me a little bit of trypophobia. Just a tad. Stargazer, huh? Mark of War, Mark of Pride. Now we'll just stick with the um, Death Seeker. Some other time, perhaps. Thanks. I heard you're helping Seika find our missing. I hope you find them. That thunderstorm seems very localized. Sorry, but I'm on duty. Our safety depends on watchful eyes. Okay, got you, got you. They've got a, like, quite a bit of people here, actually. Who was that? Hey. Fifth day in a row. Hi. I see compliance is keeping busy. You have no idea. Over there? Or maybe you do. Meet me at the burial grounds, up the western hill. Okay. The splinter within. Hmm. Sure. We'll keep walking around first though, freely. We can take the little boat. Excuse me? had a lack of respect for our customs. Because Admiral Garrett lets her get Where's Rang? Confiscate anything that looks suspicious? You got any food for me? Do I have any food right now? No! Zero out of five. Let's get some good food here. Curd of the Ancestors. Hearty Quen meal. Restores 75% health. No question about this, right? If I can buy... Oh, I might not have enough materials. No, I'm good, I'm good. I 
hope it's to your tastes. Thanks. Ooh, I don't have large health potions. Feels like somebody already I think we might want to be careful about this kind of thing. A purge water, yeah, purge water. That's what that was. I don't have that arrow, so I use the trap to activate that thing. So I'm kind of um, concerned about the lack of health potions here. The great MRE. Do I have enough? How many can I make? Can I do this faster? Oh! It's eat time. Just ran out. I'm gonna need to restock on some berries later. Hi, everybody. Well, they've tried to settle down, settle in as much as they can. But it's still a big wreck here. Anybody looking for anything from me? This was a huge expedition though. Look, they had so many people here. Oh! Thought I saw like a lobster just now. Is it gone? This note says someone stashed a key they found. It's somewhere in the settlement. Near a waterfall. C. Confiscated an ancient artifact from a marine. When pressed, he confessed that he was able to use a small device to operate a nearby metal door. The ancient space itself may be of use to our little distilling operation. With no remaining diviners, the protocol regarding the device is, let's say, conveniently murky. They have no remaining diviners. They're all gone. I've taken the liberty of stowing it in the place near the waterfall. Let's talk in person. No need to involve the Admiral. Can we... do something about that? Where is that note? Over here? No, I can't. Hi. I can't talk to him. So it's just a note I randomly found. Okay. You hanging in there? What place did it mention exactly? Maybe I'll come across it later on. For now. Yeah, let's go over there. The burial grounds. Maybe try to walk across these things while we're at it. Bunch of parchment pushers. Parchment pushers. Just wanted to take a look around here though. Where were you this morning? Oh, there's some lava stuff over there. Is LA I don't know, on some earthquake land near volcanoes and stuff? I'm actually not sure. I'm guessing yes, because LA is on the west side, and I know there's a whole bunch of earthquake stuff on the west side for both Canada and the States. It's pretty, but that bit there is a little bit concerning. <laughs> okay, we're getting closer to Seika, so let's let's turn back. Hmm. The question mark here. So I can't use any... Maybe it's just because we're in the settlement right now. We can't use any mounts at all? Not the Sunwing. Not whatever mount I had. Uh, what's the word? Not possessed. Convinced? I forgot what the word is. I want a thorough search of all the law. have been marking the days on a hunk of drift. That's Rang. Today's my son's birthday. These are compliance affairs, barbarian. Back off. Okay, alright. I seem to recall the mounts being kind of mad though, so pretty sure walking around is okay. Oh, we have to go back up here. New weapons? Do you have any? All healed up. Oh, thank you. Got a stash. Restock? All categories? Right, do you have... Can we have berries in here? I don't quite remember. Outfits. Am I okay with this outfit? Can we have more? Probably later on. 
Yeah, we got some pretty fancy ones. Where was the black one that we had before? That one was pretty cool. Oh, we're wearing a dyed one. That's why it's so pink. I remember now. Well, I don't mind it. Oh, wait. This one kind of looks like the one we're wearing right now. Oh, this is pretty cool. But in terms of, like, the stats and the, the weaves, I don't really... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Hi. Now, do you have anything that's actually good for me? Mmm... Your arrows? Okay, what is that middle arrow? Is that... A fast firing long range bow favored by the elite Quinn Marines. Yeah, all these icons, I don't quite remember what all of them are anymore. But I think mine is probably okay for now if we just judge the... Well... Oh yeah, I've got a whole bunch of other ones, that's right. I think we're probably okay for now though. The Emperor's Reign, wow. Whole bunch of like super expensive stuff. Actually do have enough money. But not enough brimshine. Okay, well, thank you. Shame. <laughs> thank you. There's a Quinn manager. Whatever your business here, please make it quick. Okay. We can make upgrades. I yeah, I think we already tried upgrading the stuff that we use the most. <laughs> There's just so much to look at. It's so overwhelming once we come back here. I'm all right for now, I think. Yeah, the previous outfits I'm pretty sure we've all worn already. Wait, am I wearing the Osram Artificer? But then I I applied a different look to it or something? Is that what happened? I'm trying to figure out what happened here because this doesn't look like... Apply look. Oh, no, no, I applied the look of this one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Right, there's a little eye icon on this one and a check mark. I'm wearing this one, but using the uh, the look of this one. I see. So I don't have to fiddle with my stuff all the time. Cool. Any pouch upgrades necessary? I don't think we need any, though. We had most of the ones that were really, really important. Okay, 